Uh, right, time now to say hello to our next guest tonight, who are the stars of Grace, the popular crime drama that returns on Sunday. But before we talk to them, here's a little teaser from the new series. Detective Superintendent Roy Grace. I know what you've done. This was murder, and it will catch up with you. No! Each of these abductions was flawless. Where is he taking her? Happy anniversary. Oh, it's John Sim and Zoe Tapper. How are you? Ooh. So, people are very excited. The new series starts on Sunday, but this is the thing. Now then, if people didn't see the first series, there's no need to panic here, is there? Because each episode is kind of like a like a mini film all of its own. So you could dip in at any point, essentially, couldn't you? You could. Right? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're based on um, Peter James' novels. Yeah. So each one's a standalone story. Um, so there's a book in each one, basically. Yeah, yeah. It's a novel. Every episode is a whole novel. So they're all different cases. And um, I mean, there are, you do, if you follow it from the beginning, you'll see the the lives of, of the main characters and developing. And there's, there's a, mm. you know, a storyline going through that. but. Mm. Yeah, you could just dip in. I mean, it's, um, they're thrillers. You so know. for those people then who have watched it up until this point, where do we find your characters at the beginning of the episode on Sunday? Go on. Well, they're in quite a good place as, yeah. as you know, as in their couple form. Um, they have they've found an equilibrium. But there are some secrets going on that, well, unbeknownst to Cleo, um, Roy has received a phone call at the end of the previous series to say that <gasps> there's been a sighting of his ex-wife. Yeah. Um, and so that's kind of hanging over the relationship, although, mm. yeah, Cleo... But that must there. have an effect, because they're now in a relationship. I mean, that's, that's big news, isn't it? It's the news you don't want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, as I say, Cleo's un... She doesn't know about that um, at this stage. Oh. But he's kind of decided to withhold that information from her, so presumably there will be ramifications mm. right. further down the line. John looks nervous okay. now. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, just a character, I, I am, John. I even thinking about it. <laughs> well, he's, had, he's had her legally declared dead, so he thinks she's gone. She's Easily been gone for done, ten John. years. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's a sighting of her, and he doesn't, he doesn't say anything. Alone, yeah. So he's like, yeah. oh. Yeah, so... But it's drip-fed into each episode. You see what happens. And there's flashbacks, actually, in the first one. So you oh, see their marriage, yeah. and you see that it wasn't quite um, the picture book marriage that it, it could have been. You see what might have happened. OK, good. Uh, Zoe, uh, John mentioned uh, that the, the novels are, that were written by uh, Peter James, that the kind of show is based on that. He actually makes an appearance, doesn't he, in a, a couple yeah. of episodes in, in the yeah, series? Yeah, he does. Um, Peter likes to turn up on, in most episodes um, and just do a little sort of cameo role. Um, I think in this series he's turning up in... I think it's episode three. He, make, he makes sort of little... He has a little walk down the pier or is on the... I think that's right, isn't it? I, I think, I don't is it know. Think it's like a bit of a try and find him type situation. Yeah. Like, where's Wally? Where's <laughs> Peter? <laughs> Blink and you'll miss him. Yeah, yeah. 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 He, he was actually in the first scene that we, the, where we met, the characters met, the, he was in that for very first scene, playing a, yeah. a, a, a police officer on the beach. Yeah, and he? he was yeah. talking to me. He's a brilliant raconteur, so he tells amazing stories. And I had to go and meet Roy Grace for the first time, and I had to introduce myself and say that I was a senior anatomical pathology technician, which yeah. is a mouthful. It and is. I've now yeah. got used to saying it, but I was it was just playing over and over and over in my head whilst Peter Jones was telling me a brilliant story and I was thinking, no, I've got to concentrate on what I've got to say. Remember the laugh, remember yeah. But Peter does sound like a good laugh, John, because he took you somewhere quite different, didn't he, to help you get into character. Yeah, we went to the the Met Museum, which is um where they have all the stuff from crime, from famous crimes, all the evidence and, um, you know, the guns and things that people wow. used. Um, so they had, like, Dennis Nielsen's bath and oh, his wow. cooker and things like that. Quite macabre, but really interesting. I, I bet. Mean, it Is was it like so a secret museum, then? Yeah, it not kind of is. Not everyone, yeah. yeah. But, but he's got, obviously, he's got contacts. Within, James has the keys. He's got the mm -hmm. keys, yeah. So I, they invited me in, and it was it was fascinating, actually. It was really fascinating. Yeah, yeah quite creepy, though. I yeah, quite imagine. creepy, yeah. yeah. Uh, so you play a pathologist. Now, I'm guessing your character spends a lot of time in the mortuary. Yes. That don't sound too nice to me. <laughs> no. Scary, bit eerie. Is it, is that, is it pretty much that? Uh, it, it is. I mean, we film it in a deserted um, shopping centre in Burgess Hill, and so, actually, it has... 
it kind of has two effects when you're filming in there. It kind of it has a sort of soporific effect. You kind of slightly feel like you're going to fall asleep every two minutes. <laughs> but then it also makes you slightly hysterical, I think, because you lose oxygen. And so we end up, even in these very dark scenarios, we end up sort of slightly giggly sometimes, don't we? <laughs> Any like, weird things happened on, on set in that? Yeah, we've had funny situations with our brilliant supporting artists who play dead for us. Uh -huh. um, there was one instance where normally an, an actor will come along and they'll, you know, they'll play dead for the scene, but sometimes they get so into the role that they actually continue playing dead even between yeah. takes. Oh, yes. and, um, and there was one such actor who came in and, and was just dead for ages and had his makeup, dead makeup on, and then all of a sudden shot up and just got a vape out and started vaping. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and wow. it was quite surreal, yeah. What a job that is, by it the way. Sounds like a dream Some job, kit, to be honest, like, like lying down. <laughs> Nailing um, it. Now yeah. then, John, we've got a question for you from Annette. She says, me and my family are huge Life on Mars fans. Could you tell us when we could see more? Oh, um, you should probably talking about Lazarus. There, there was talk of um, another series. Um, and all I know about that is there, there was a script and me and Phil Glenister read it and we loved it and we thought it was great. And yeah. so uh, we said yes. Um, but it seems to have gone into some development place now oh. that's taken so off. So watch this space. Watch this yeah, space. so we don't know. Okay. OK. Uh, well, thank you, John yeah. and Zoe. Grace returns this Sunday, 8 o'clock, ITV1 and ATVX. ITVX.